Okay, let's have a look at some advanced actions. Now here I've got a bit of a quiz going on. I've got five questions in the quiz. And this last slide here, I've got some text captions on. One says failed, one says fair, and one says excellent. Now, if you click on one of these, you notice that I've got them invisible. So I've de-clicked the visible box, if you like, so none of them are visible. And what this will mean is when the um, the script runs, the advanced action runs, it'll show these, depending on how well you did in the questions. Okay, Then you'll get your, your proper score at the end. So let's go straight in and go Project Advanced Actions. And uh, let's go to Conditional Actions, because it's a condition, and we'll give it a name. I'm just going to call this Test Score. That'll do. Um, these um, decisions here, I'm going to click and call one excellent. I'm going to call one fair. And I'm going to call one failed. Okay. Then double click in, in the if statement. And we want a variable here. And all that does is it, this variable stores things. So we want to have a look at the quiz, and we want to look at quiz info total correct answers. So it's looking at the correct answers, and in this case, if it's equal to, and we want a literal score, if it's equal to five, so that means it's got all all right. Then in the actions, we want it to select an action, so we want it to show something, and we want it to show the excellent dialog box or text caption, sorry. Okay, we can save that. Now, for the... Oh, what's it done here? It's <laughs> It's got rid of it and it says failed. That one should be excellent. Okay. And we'll update that. Script updated. So the next one We'll call this fair. Overwrote those, didn't it? Because I didn't put um, conditions in them, I suppose. So fair. This variable again, and we want the same variable. If I can find it. Quiz total correct answers. If it's equal to, or equal to, or less than, I suppose. Now equal to. We'll give it a variable. What should we say for fair? So there's five, so three. So if the correct answer is equal to three, then we want it to show. Where's the show? Show fair. And the next one will be failed. So let's go to failed. F A I L E D. Failed. Double click here. Want it as a variable. Total correct answers. If it's less than, literal, if it's less than three, then we can show failed. Okay, now it should all turn green. We should be able to close that. Now, in the properties box here, we should scroll down and it should say, sorry, you've got to click on the slide, not the, not the text caption. So click on the slide and, and the action here on enter, it's got continue by default, but we want to go advanced actions. And it's put our script in there already, let's test score. And to edit this script, you can just double click on that and it'll open it up again. Okay, so let's test it. Let's press F4. And let's see what happens. So here's the front of our quiz. through these because you probably know the answers to most of this.
and the last one, do trees grow underground? No, they don't. Correct. So it should say excellent on the next slide. Yep, it does. See? And there's our score.